Welcome, Sir Sagrel. May I congratulate you on your victory in Gorgoath. I am Queen Belmaid, love of King Wenson and Grand Lady of the House of Ballads. The Fey of the East are not our enemies. We count them among our kind. At least we did. Times change. That is such a mortal thing to say. It is likely that you do not understand our need for continuity. Our desire to repeat the past for the good of the coming future. What then is your drive to create a bloodline? There's no difference. The House of Ballads is our family tree. It is the sire we look to for wisdom. He represents all that is pure and just in the Summer Court. He is the vibrancy of life, what the Winter Court has always sought to darken with its decaying ways. She is our nemesis. The villain we in the House of Ballads are destined to thwart through all the seasons of the telling. If there is trouble, the maid is at its origin. I do not speak of my exploits unless to warn against the pride that engulfs all who celebrate the telling. We are symbols of a greater truth, not the truth itself. I am best known for my infiltration of the Maid of Windermere's kingdom beyond the hills. It was I who shattered her ambitions to topple the Summer Court. It is difficult to see from its current condition, but the Oratory was once the finest venue for performances of the Summer Court canon. The voices still linger. We regaled many a king under the Oratory's grand canopy. But those seasons have passed. Our time has passed. This realm is at the mercy of cycles, of seasons, and the role of the Fae is no different. The telling is the ongoing story in which we all play an integral part. When Hallam told me a mortal had taken the open seat, I did not believe him. But here you stand before me. Impressive. It is a pity about Sagra, a grand hero. But there's not time to raise the King's token in his honor. We need every hand carrying a sword for the coming battle. We've come to aid Sir Ferrara, our brother in the Court of Enchantments. It is time for his telling of the Ballad of Bloody Bones. Ferrara went in pursuit of his nemesis, for Bloody Bones has emerged, poised to abduct a maiden to be his mistress. So goes his song. You will need to revive Ferrara after the battle. I can only assume Hallam would not have sent you unprepared for this task. Go to Ferrara, and quickly. When the two of you finish, I will await you at the House of Ballads in the north. Do be careful, Sagril. Uduath is northwest on the shores of Ettenmere. It is sealed by a powerful spell, but Bloody's magic is weak, and you should be able to gain entrance. It is a ballad of obsession and sacrifice, one of the summer's oldest. Bloody Bones was not always as a terror. No, he was once called Faymor, a counselor to Isa himself. Sadly, he was driven by lust, and by his need to possess whatever he desired. Taking Lord Issa's lover, he fled with her to his hollow of Udua. When the maiden was rescued, Issa cursed Faymor. He could not die, and his soul would never enter the Great Cycle. He became an abomination known only as Bloody Bones. Every few seasons, Bloody would emerge and steal away a maiden to make his bride. That is, until he took the beloved of Sir Ferrara. We are legendary champions of the telling, brought together for the purpose of ensuring summer court glory for seasons to come. Like all other Fae in the Western Lands, I am a subject of the Court of Summer, our wise council of elders. They are responsible for the well-being of our kind. I do not speak of magic with a knowing tongue, but I do know that the persistence of Fae songs is eternally linked to the enchanted lore stones in which they exist. When mortals began to use magic to create, 
change and even destroy their own lore stones. It was decided that the ballads of the Summer Court needed better protection. The Cairns are a new kind of lore stone, Hallam's way of keeping outside influence from affecting our stories, from corrupting them as the days pass and seasons transpire. There is no need to kneel. Honestly, I wish I could do away with all this king nonsense altogether. The tragedy we face, it is not legend. It is real. It is now. Yes, I am the acting Wenson. But the true king has been gone for many seasons. I am the fifth such fate to hold the title. And at times like this, I wish I did not. It is an amulet worn by all King Wensons in the telling. I wear it, as have all the kings who rose and fell at the mercy of the seasons. Only he who wears the king's token is worthy of walking in Wenson's stead, of singing the most important songs of the summer court. He is one who prefers action to discussion. A tempestuous firebrand who would rather pursue the mortal flesh than any other of life's mysteries. That is why his ballad is such a stirring one. Ferrara will always be the lovable rogue who finally chooses another over himself. Timeless is what it is. Few know the truth of the House of Ballads, that we are not the actual heroes of myth. Those knights have gone, passing into the cycle, or moving on to nobler adventures. However, it is our wish for the great songs to endure that seasons of Fey would sing them before the fires. True power is in returning to what matters. So the House of Ballads was established, and worthy warriors were found to act in the roles of Wenson, Bellmaid, and the others. To tell these tales is a great honor. Good luck.